my name is Jocelyn. I sit on the industry strategy and marketing team at Autodesk. Uh, today we're very excited to share that we released Bifrost for Maya. And that is a new visual programming environment which will allow 3D artists and TVs to create amazing effects uh, using Maya. Um, there's essentially two parts to this. Um, it introduces a new graph editor which will allow TDs to create their own effects that are entirely portable. They can share them with other artists to use across different scenes, shots, and even entirely different shows. The other thing we've done though is we've created a ton of pre-built graphs to allow artists to really quickly download them and start using them in Maya and, and uh, creating effects fast that, are, uh, that meet today's standards. Um, the other thing that I'm excited to talk about uh, at SIGGRAPH today is that we announced yesterday during Pixar's Birds of a Feather uh, that, we will, that we are joining forces with Pixar, Animal Logic, and Luma Pictures to uh, combine all of the USD projects into one common USD plugin for Maya. And our goal with that is really to create one consistent yet modifiable way of using USD with Maya. Um, so those are, those are some of our big announcements. There's a few other things that uh, we've dropped uh, in the last few days. Arnold 5.4 also came out uh, today. Uh, that continues to build on our release of Arnold 5.3 earlier in the year, uh, which uh, was the first release of Arnold GPU. Um, so this update adds OSL and OpenVDB support, um, which are things that we know the Arnold community has been hankering after. Um, it also adds uh, a couple of other things, including a Bifrost procedural, which allows direct rendering of procedural geometry and volumes within uh, the new visual programming environment in Maya, and a bunch of new shaders and performance updates as well. Um, and on top of that, we dropped Flame 2020.1 last week. Uh, that continues to add new uses for machine learning uh, and AI in Flame. Uh, so two of the things that we've added as examples are specialized image segmentation features as well as sky extraction tools. So that's just a really quick roundup of some of the things that we've been sharing at, uh, from Autodesk this week. Um, we'll hope you go and check them all out online.